Guy Daho, everybody, welcome back. We're back at the University of Florida here in Gainesville doing a walking tour of the ever popular Stadium Road. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, we're starting on the eastern end of Stadium Road, cutting through campus, and we're just gonna point out things as we go along. It's been many years since I hung out around the campus, so we'll just kind of discover together. Let's keep going, guys. So as we continue to walk along Stadium Road, let me give you a quick background on the University of Florida. UF was actually founded way back in 1853. Yep, it's been around for over 170 years. Originally, it started out as a small school for boys, but over the decades, it grew into one of the largest and most respected public universities in the country. Today, UF is home to more than 50,000 students and is known for its top-notch economics, uh, academic, excuse me, especially in areas like engineering, business, and health sciences. But really, what makes the university stand out is its gator pride. Everywhere you go on campus, you'll feel it. Whether it's the excitement on game days or just the everyday buzz of students who are really proud to be here. The school also has a rich tradition of excellence not just in academics, but also in athletics, research, and innovation. And it all ties back to the spirit of Gator Nation. Let's go Gators. All right, as we keep walking, we're coming up on one of the most beautiful spots on campus, the University Auditorium. This place is seriously impressive. It's just not a performance hall, it's a little piece of history. Uh, the building is completed back in 1924, and it's got this cool Gothic architecture and stands out compared to the other buildings on campus. It's also a popular spot for everything from concerts to guest lectures. Uh, some of the biggest cultural events take place right here, so you got to make sure if you're in town to check the schedule. You might catch a live orchestra or even some kind of theater performance. Plus, the auditorium sits right next to the Century Tower, now their famous landmark that rings out bells throughout the day. So even if you're not inside, you'll hear the music in the air. All right, guys, so far it's been exciting. A lot more students than I expected because I didn't think class started full time for another week or two. 
Let's continue walking, guys. Speaking of the Century Tower, it's hard to miss this landmark. Rises up over 150 feet into the sky and is one of UF's most iconic structures. This was built back in the 1950s to celebrate two important things, uh, UF's 100 year anniversary and to students and the faculty who had served in World War I. So it's a big deal and it's a lot more than just a campus tradition. And here's something else really cool. If you're walking around campus at the right time, you hear the bells ring from the top of the tower. Uh, apparently there's a 61 bell system inside and it plays the melodies throughout the day. And I wasn't there to catch it, so I can't give you any online demonstration, but you can even at times catch a full concert. And at those times you can even request songs to be played. As we move along, guys, we're stepping into the heart of student life, a Turlington Plaza. Places always happen it, whether you're just passing through between classes or just want to take a break, there's always something going on here. It's also home to UF's largest academic buildings. Uh, what's also unique uh, or special about the area is you see a lot of student groups out here setting up tables, promoting events, handing out flyers. There's always something going on. It gives the whole area a real uh, community vibe. And if you ever need a little more inspiration, you can check out the sculpture, the Alachua. It uh, stands over 26 foot tall steel piece. Definitely one of those spots where you can say, I'll meet you by the sculpture and everybody knows what you're talking about. Also, you typically are gonna hear a lot of people coming and going and it may be even an occasional skateboarder cruising through. It's a great spot to soak up the ca campus atmosphere. Now we're making our way towards the hub. If there's one place on campus where you can get pretty much everything done, it's right here. The hub's like a Swiss army knife of student spaces. Whether you need to grab a coffee, meet up with friends, or even get some studying done, this is the spot. It's a multi-purpose student center uh, with everything from study spaces and computer labs to food courts uh, and everything in between. It's kind of the go-to spot to grab any tech needs as well, uh, browse the latest uh, gadgets. Uh, the vibe here is always pretty, pretty relaxed. You'll see students hanging out, walking or hanging in groups.
Capitol Stadium Road is complete without a mega stadium. Here we are right outside the University of Florida, the stadium known as the Swamp. Let's keep continuing along Stadium Road, see what other surprises lie ahead. All right, guys, we're headed to one of the most legendary spots on campus, the football stadium, also known as the Swamp. If you're a Gator, you know where the magic happens. It's home to the Florida Gators football team. The Swamp is where the whole campus comes to life on game days. Uh, the atmosphere in there is absolutely electric. There's around 90,000 seats. It's one of the largest stadiums in the country. And trust me, it gets loud. And even not on game day, it's an impressive sight. Y'all can come by, walk through the stadium and take in the view. It's usually available in sections open to the public. And if you ever heard the phrase, only gators get out alive, well, you now know where it comes from. The swamp isn't just about a football field, it's about the soul of the campus. So if you're hanging around campus and feeling hungry, Gator Corner Dining Center is the perfect place to grab a bite. It's one of the main dining halls on campus and trust me, it's got something for everyone. It's got like made to order stations with a variety of options like burgers, pizzas, even some international dishes. Uh, it's easy to find whatever you're craving. And the cool part is it's buffet style, affordable, so you can really load up after a long day of classes or workouts. It's also a popular hangout spot for students, uh, whether you're meeting friends for lunch or just grabbing a quick snack between classes. So if you're ever on campus, you wanna make sure to check out the uh, Gator Corner Dining Center.
You'll enjoy the rest of the video. Next up, we're coming to the Football Training Center. This is UF's cutting edge facility for Gator football. 
Uh, it opened back in 2022. The place has everything the team needs, uh, from state-of-the-art weight rooms to rehab centers and even an indoor practice field. And it's not just about football, though. Uh, it also focuses on player well-being uh, with recovery pools, nutrition stations, uh, chill-out spaces. It's really committed to supporting its student athletes on and off the field. And whether you're into football or not, the center is one of the most impressive, uh, impressive places on campus. Uh, it's pushing the future of Gator sports to the next level. Just a short walk from the swamp, we got another major hub. That's the Okano Center. And as students call it, the O-Dome. It's a place where the U.S. basketball, volleyball, gymnastics, I think the swimming team, always got something exciting going on here. Uh, but it's not just about sports. The Okano Center also hosts everything from concerts to graduation ceremonies to career fairs, even student events. Basically, if you're on campus for any type of event, chances are it's happening here. Another cool fact, the roof is actually air inflated. So if you ever look up during an event, you'll see it gently moving. It's a pretty unique design that really makes the place stand out even more.
know how much longer we're going to be able to go. It's starting to sprinkle. Hoping the rain held off for another hour, but it doesn't look like it. So let's keep going as long as we can. Keep watching to the end to see if there's any crazy surprises. Let's go, guys. long for video.
right, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Stadium Road here at the campus of University of Florida in Gainesville. Till next time, guys. Dai zai zai zen. See you on the next video.